Having had the good fortune to be invited to attend the funeral, it was an awesome sight. It was both beautiful and sad at the same time. Uh, both the night before at the, uh, uh, the brief service on Tuesday night and then the funeral service on Wednesday. Uh, the first thing one is struck by is that virtually anyone in Hollywood, that is anyone, was there. Uh, the ones conspicuous by their absence might have been Jerry Lewis who later was questioned as to why he didn't go and it was just too emotional. The, the first hour was basically a religious service with prayers and, and a religious hymns sung. And then the eulogies began with a very warm and moving eulogy by his son, Frank Jr. His son, Frank Jr., was so eloquent. Frank Sinatra loved style in a human being and today his son, Frank Jr., had style was as it should be, extraordinary. He was just one of the most caring human beings I've ever known. And I, I think that if anything has been missed uh, in, in the press, it's probably the, the mention of that. He's going to be with Sammy now and Dean, and uh, heaven will never be the same. I think I'm dreaming. So in my dream, I get up and go to his house to prove that he didn't pass away. I couldn't believe the dream. When I realized it wasn't a dream that he had passed away, I think secretly, inside, I would never have expressed this before, I hated to see him in a condition that was not Frank Sinatra. I've got you. I would like to be remembered as a man who brought a, uh, an innovation to popular singing. What a world, man, this is the life. I would like to be remembered as a man who had uh, a wonderful time living his life and who had uh, um, good friends. fine family and I don't I don't think I could ask for anything more than that well, an incredible legacy because everybody that walks through these same portals from now on uh, he'll be the standard that they'll have to follow I've been honored in my lifetime twice uh, <laughs> 